What is up guys, Rick Kakis here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we are going to be going over a bunch of tips to make your leveling process within Borderlands 3 much easier. Now leveling in Borderlands 3 is pretty similar to what it was in previous games. You're simply doing quests, doing side quests, completing challenges somewhat in the background, but the most difficult thing when it comes to leveling in any Borderlands game, and it is true in Borderlands 3, is when your weapons suck. When you are rocking some greens, you don't have that good of loot, you're a little bit underleveled, and you're just up against a wall. You can't beat uh, the super badasses they're throwing at you, the bosses they're throwing at you. But hopefully, this video will help you eliminate that, because we're going to talk about how to get higher quality, so blue, purple, and yellow slash orange rarity gear much much easier so whenever you need it you can go and get it and constantly have great gear to just power through the levels within the game. So let's get started here with the first big tip and that is the Typhon chests. Now if you're playing the game, it's entirely possible that you completely ignored these weird green symbols appearing when you're exploring the map. And they are the Typhon beacons. When you interact with them, as you can see, you will simply get kind of a story by the Typhon guy, or Typhoon, or I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but that's beside the point. He'll talk about his old days as the original Vault Hunter and working with the Atlas Corporation, and that's it. It will not do anything until you activate all three of these objects. There are three scattered around every single map in Borderlands 3, and once you get all three, your map is actually going to be updated with the location of a Typhon stash. And then you head there, you find the actual chest, open it, and as you can see, it's extremely rewarding. You're almost guaranteed several blues and will often get purple rarity loot as well. And this can be a huge, huge boon. I mean, you're coming out of an area on a map with way more loot than you sometimes otherwise would, especially if going through the area is just a precursor to the big boss fight in the main campaign or whatever. It can be where you start to get a little underleveled and don't get enough loot. These chests can absolutely change that. Now, now I hope to eventually have a guide for you know, all the locations of everything you need to know. Right now obviously still just playing the game, but if you spend a little bit of extra time exploring the map and looking for these Typhon objects and then unlocking the chest, it's relatively easy to do and again it can be a huge help to the leveling process. Now moving on from there, something else that you should definitely be aware of is boss fights. Boss fights are incredibly lucrative in Borderlands 3, actually much more so than they were in Borderlands 2. And you can see in the background gameplay, often when you're killing certain bosses from the campaign or from side quests or whatever, they will drop legendary weapons. It seems like pretty much every big boss has legendary weapons in his loot pool and they're often incredibly, incredibly powerful. So what this means is two things. Firstly, if there's ever a side quest that ends in a boss fight, do it. Like, do that side quest. If they're talking about going after a certain bandit lord or whatever, do that side quest because you have some great loot as potential rewards. Also, it means that you actually don't want to overlevel before the boss fights in the main campaign. Like, he, if there's an opportunity to go and kill Megamind or some of the other bosses within the game, don't then start doing a ton of side quests and get overleveled. You would want to actually beat that boss that is that same level as you, so if he does drop his legendary, then that legendary can carry you forward several more levels and be super good and just help you level up past that point much, much easier. And speaking of boss fights, while you're exploring the map looking for the Typhon locations, there's also going to be certain areas of your map and you'll see a green symbol of two crossed swords. This is actually a kind of boss of opportunity. So if you go to this area, there's actually going to be like a named boss you can fight. And although they're certainly not as generous as the main story bosses, they usually do drop at least a few blues. And it's just an extra advantage you can get and some extra experience as well when you do kill them for taking a little bit of extra time and exploring the map rather than just plowing through with the missions. But moving on from there, this is another tip and this is something that if you're just playing the game, you may not even know about. It's your mail. 
because you're actually gonna be sent good weapons in your mail. And to access your mailbox, open up your menu, go to the social feature, and you can see there are weapons in here being sent to me for completing random challenges, doing the campaign, etc. You'll have a little notification pop up on screen. Importantly, you'll also have all your pre-order bonuses and special edition stuff in here as well. Now importantly, don't make the mistake I kind of did and withdraw everything at once because the stuff that you withdraw is actually going to be whatever level you currently are. So you can withdraw these things and they're actually gonna be like legendary weapons that are okay, but grenades as well, they're actually pretty decent and so on. And you can basically wait until you're at the point where, oh, I need a better grenade, I'm suffering, open up your mail, withdraw an of level legendary grenade whenever you need it. That's gonna help your first playthrough substantially. So if you're ever at a point where you just need a decent blue weapon, check your mailbox. All right guys, so that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, learn something new. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Borderlands 3 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.